Hi all, in this video we will look at fusion expressions basics. So let's jump into this video. In DaVinci Fusion you can enable expression by right clicking on a parameter and choosing expression. In Fusion every parameter got values that will be used to change the parameter. And how this expression work is that when you input a expression into the expression box the output of that expression will be used to change the parameter. Fusion's expression is based on Lua code and Max. So if we know both of these things then we can fully understand this expression. But we don't really need to fully understand the expression as we only need to know what we want to achieve by using the expression. Now the reason why expression is a good thing. By using expression we can link parameters so that one parameter can control other parameter and second thing is that expression can be used for animation without using keyframes. So let's look at in depth on these two things. I will share you guys some basic infos and basic things so that you can start using expression on your fusion composition. So first of all about linking parameters. On fusion every parameter got a name and if you type that name on the expression box the value of that parameter will be the output for the expression. Linking these two parameters together there is three ways you can type in the parameter on this expression box. First way is only useful if you are using parameter from the same tool. At that time just directly type in the parameter name on the expression box and the expression output will be that parameter's value. Second way is that if you over your mouse over a parameter on your bottom left it will show tools name. Just type that name on the expression box and the expression will return that parameter's value. Third way is to use the chain function. On the left side of the expression box there will be plus icon. You can drag this plus icon to the parameter that you like your expression to be linked to and the name of this parameter will be automatically added into this expression box. To use this method on other tools or other nodes you need to pin one node and open the other that way you can use this chain function. So these are the three ways that you can use parameter on the expression box. In addition to directly typing the parameter name you can even use max operation on this parameter like addition, subtraction, multiplication, sign, cos like all those max operation you can use that on this parameter. Another thing about this max operation is that you can use this max operation between two numbers or between one parameter and a number or between two parameters. Now to use the expression for animation or for the automation. First way to automate is by creating new parameter on the tool that we are using the expression. The sole purpose of this new parameter that we create is to give value to the expression so that expression can do the animation or automation. So to create a new parameter from the inspector right click on the tool name or from the node tab right click on the node and choose edit controls. Then from the control box type the name you like for this new parameter. Then from the id create a new id by typing the name. From the type number means the parameter will control numbers Point means it will control points like X and Y. Test means it will control a test. From the page, select the page that you like your parameter to be visible on. Choose animatable if you want to add keyframe to these values or choose passive if not. From the input controls, choose the type of controls that you like to see on the inspector tab. For the number, slider control is good. For point, offset control. And for the text, text edit control and if you are using number and you don't like to have decimal points just tick the integer box. View control is used to show controls on the viewer so we can change the value but we don't really need that option so just did to none. Next press ok now your new parameter will be visible on the inspector tab. Now keyframe this parameter and use this parameter on the expression. There are so many things that you can do with this simple parameter that you created like simply creating a countdown and if you want to take it to another level you can combine this parameter with the max operation. 
next method is by using time code this time expression will output the current frame number as output so by just adding time on the expression box the parameter will have different value on each frame which will be very useful for animating Next expression is the sign and cos. Both sign and cos will return value from minus 1 to 1. Sign value will be like 0, then 1, then minus 1, while cos value is like 1, 0, then minus 1. Combining sign value with time will give you good animation without using keyframe. Simple tip I can share is that if you simply put sign time value, the value will change so fast so to make it slower just multiply the time value with the decimal points and to make it faster multiply it with the integers and if you don't want to see negative value you can use the absolute expression so to use that type in abs bracket sign bracket time bracket close bracket close now this expression will only return positive value Next expression for automation is the if expression. If expression is used for checking condition. If condition is true, it will return a value. If condition is false, it will return another value. The syntax of the if expression is like this. IIF bracket condition comma true value comma false value bracket close. True value means if the condition is true, that value will be returned. False value means if condition is false, that value will return. So just by combining all the expression that I mentioned, you can achieve good automation and animation on your fusion composition. Some tips that I can share is that while using expression on text plus node, if you want to type a test, then type the test inside double quotation. Next, if you want to add more expression onto this test, just add two periods and type your next expression. And lastly, if you want to add a line break, add backslash and, and there will be a line break. That's all about this video. This is just basic related to expression. In the description, I will share you guys some links that will be useful for your expression journey. So that's all about this video. I hope you guys find this video useful. If you do so, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.